Let's be honest. Brawlhalla is an infuriating game. Whether it be players like Boomy becoming the embodiment of the Joker during LAN tournaments, or players that are so passive that they'd rather do anything other than approach you, there's gonna be some annoying players that play Brawlhalla. Now, perhaps you've been playing the game for some time and have fallen victim to one of these players. Usually after experiencing these players, you get angry. In fact, maybe so angry that you claim you're quitting the game and will never come back. <clears throat> this phenomenon is what we call bad mental, and trust me, it's something we all deal with. The difference is, some people know how to deal with it, and others, not so much. Hitting every single part of him! He's just in all the special blue goodness! But then look... <laughs> Even I was once a player that used to deal with bad mental in a terrible way. In other words, slamming my keyboard to a million pieces. But ever since getting back into Brawlhalla, I haven't raged the game once. And so, I hope to share with you some tips that may help you with that bad mental, cause trust me, I've been there. But first, I want to talk about a different type of quote-unquote bad mental, which is being nervous to play ranked. There's a certain group of people that suffer from what is known as ranked anxiety, which basically means instead of getting angry when you lose, you get scared. In fact, so scared that you don't want to play ranked anymore because you're too worried that you might lose more of those precious virtual numbers. If you find yourself within that group of people, don't worry, I have the perfect solution for you. Just stop being nervous. My goodness, what an idea. Why didn't I think of that? Okay, okay, obviously that was a joke. Well, kind of. Trust me, I can understand the feeling of getting a new peak elo and being nervous that, oh, if I lose the next game that I might lose my peak elo, but... Let's be honest here, if you lose that next game, what are you actually losing? That's right, ELO. In other words, a fictitious number that dictates where you're placed on the Brahalla leaderboards. That's it. You're not losing your skill, you're not losing your dignity, you're not losing your friends, your family, or your money, or your human rights, or your life, no. You're losing a virtual number on a video game. Of course, I'm not saying that you can't care about that number at all. I mean, if you want to climb the leaderboards, then yes, you're going to have to care about that number. But when you lose a game, not if, because you're definitely going to lose some games. So when you lose a game, what actually changes? You're still as skillful as you was before. Actually, maybe more so, depending on who you're fighting. If you fought someone better, then maybe you just gained some knowledge or some skill. You just lost a little bit of your elo. That's all. So with that in mind, don't be scared to play ranked. In fact, I'd say it's better than playing experimental, because, uh, yeah, that cesspool is way worse than any ranked game you'll ever play. Now, back to the more prevalent side of bad mental, which is anger and rage. For this, I'm gonna give several different reasons as to why you should not be raging while playing Brawlhalla. First and foremost, it's just a game, bro. Yes, 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 I know, you've heard that a million times, but just for a moment, Truly internalize the fact that when you rage at Brahalla, or any game for that matter, you are raging at ones and zeros. That's all they are. Anything on the computer is just ones and zeros. And you're willing to break physical things, whether it be a, a keyboard or punch a hole in the wall, you are willing to do that over some ones and zeros. Really? I'm aware that saying that is a bit disingenuous as to what it actually is, because of course these games are much more than just ones and zeros, but for me, the ridiculous nature of raging at ones and zeros, which it technically is, is just enough to say, I shouldn't be raging at that, it's just kind of funny. And at the end of the day, it is just a video game. But of course, that can be applied to any game, so let's talk about something more Brawlhalla specific. For example, the fact that a lot of things at Brawlhalla are broken, or just unfair. To that I say, yeah, you're right. Every game is like that. There was a short period of time after I <clears throat> quit Brahalla that I was considering doing Minecraft content on this channel. And so, while I was playing some Minecraft and preparing some content, I realized something. Man, there are some stupid things about Minecraft. For example, a big factor of whether you win or lose a fight in Minecraft is your internet connection. Just the slightest alteration of ping can mean the difference between not getting a hit and getting a hit, which can mean everything in a fight. There's also an abundance of closet cheating in Minecraft, 
and anti-cheats just aren't good enough to detect that type of stuff. I could go on, but I think you get the point. There are stupid and broken things in Minecraft. And big shocker here, but that goes for any game you play. There are always going to be unfair and broken things about the game you play. There is no such thing as a perfectly balanced game. And by the way, anyone going into the comments right now to say that chess is a perfectly balanced game, you clearly have not heard of the butt plug meta. So yeah, even though there's some definitely broken things in Brawlhalla that the devs are not fixing anytime soon, that's just for any game, and it shouldn't deter you from playing the game that you like. Another thing to think about is how ridiculous you look while you're raging. Have you ever watched one of those road rage videos and thought to yourself, Wow, those guys are idiots. They're getting mad over nothing. And then you proceed to break your monitor over Brawlhalla? Yeah, that's called hypocrisy. Seriously though, watching someone rage can be pretty awkward. In fact, in some cases it can be pretty laughable. Especially when people invite you to a post-game lobby and trash talk to you after they lost the game. Yeah, that's hilarious to me. The following audio is a theatrical interpretation of some screenshots I got while playing Brawlhalla. The context is, I won a game of Experimental, and the person I beat claimed I was playing passively. Please enjoy. No, you were playing passively because I was approaching! Did we just play the same game? Because it sure doesn't sound like it. I think you're imagining things. Your entire clan are delusional brawl virgins. It's actually sad. And there's a 95% chance you don't have over 1k in your pocket. In which case, you're on this game doing this. That's actually sad. Correct, I actually have nothing in my pockets right now. You gotta get up and grind, gang. You can do it, trust me. This is gonna make some great content. You count working a basic 9 to 5 job as plenty of money? Or your weak ass YouTube channel that generates no revenue? You can look for an SS with this combo in my next video. I don't care about your next vid, gang! You can look it up if you'd like. I'll pass! By the way, these three screenshots are a very small portion of a long conversation. Obviously, I didn't get it all because it was way too big to screenshot it all, but his whole point was, because I beat him in one game of Brawlhalla Experimental, I'm not only a Brawl Virgin, which I have no clue what that means, uh, but also I have no hoes and I'm broke. Now, how this guy who's raging at Brawlhalla has any of those things is beyond me, but... I think the real moral of the story is, don't rage at Brahalla because you look like an absolute idiot when you do. I think the best way to think about it is, how would your friends and family react if they saw you acting that way? How would your girlfriend act- oh wait, Brahalla players don't have those. Uh, if you had a girlfriend, how would they react to seeing you rage? My guess would be a slap in the face and some pretty awkward conversations to come. So, the next time you feel like raging, just think about that. And instead, just laugh at those that are raging themselves. Or maybe just suggest this video to them. Actually, that'd probably be the best idea. Next up, always remember, you're gonna lose sometimes. It's true. No matter how good you are at something, you're gonna lose sometimes, and that's just a fact of life. I mean, think about 2019 Sandstorm. He was the three-time 1v1 World Championship winner, he had the best 2v2 team in the entire game, he was the GOAT. Fast forward to today, and he struggles to even top three. So with that being said, when you inevitably lose a game, don't be angry with it. Instead, take it as an opportunity to learn. Understand the fact that, hey, I wasn't good enough, and improve. So that way, the next time you come across that exact same scenario, you'll be able to win. In the current day meta of Brahalla, there's nothing that's unbeatable. So if you lost to something, you're able to beat it. Does that mean that it's not annoying or super infuriating or really agonizingly hair-pullingly stupid every single time that I come across a player that only approaches with weapon throws and plays super passively and plays weapons like guitars or bow? Absolutely not. That is super stupid. And if you play like that, then I hate you. However, I know that it is my own skill issue and problem that I can't beat that because it's not unbeatable and therefore I need to improve as a player in order to beat it. Now on to my last tip, which is probably the most important. And that's, don't forget to take breaks. I can't tell you how many times I used to be on a 10 plus loss streak and I told myself, one more, after completely annihilating my desk with my fist. 
And believe me, unless I won that next game, that one more was not the last one. I know how tempting it is to keep playing after you're on a loss streak because you want to end on a win, but sometimes that's just not feasible and you're going to lose way more times than you need to before you finally get that win. My current rule of thumb is that if I lose three games of ranked in a row, I'm automatically taking a break, no questions asked. Obviously you can have something different, but having some sort of rule of thumb like that is perfect to making sure that you don't overdo it. And yeah, that's about it. If you think about those things and apply those tips, you should be a mental god. And of course, one last thing, don't forget to just have fun. Like I said at the beginning, it's just a video game, so treat it as such. Don't treat it like it's your life, treat it like a game. Treat it as the goofy 2D fighter platform game that it is.